my hat off to, um, to PJ and the Minnesota football team. Um, they they stayed in, they stayed in the fight. Very experienced football team. We needed we had to execute on all three phases of the game. We also we had to win the second quarter and the third quarter. We talked about that. That didn't get done. Got to go back and look at the film and look what we see what we need to fix. But I thought the guys played hard. I thought they played to the end. I thought he saw it early. I thought he saw it, you know, saw it early. But um, I didn't thought I didn't think he saw it towards the end of the game. So that's why it was the change with Logan. Thought Logan gave us a better chance. Hey, Mickey, you went six straight three and outs with Chubb, and then the seventh possession was a pick. Did you think about going to, to Logan earlier? Yeah, we, we, you know, we probably should have, but we, you know, we figured we had to throw the ball down the field. And then when he when he wasn't seeing it, then we figured we had to make a change. But you're right. We in this league, you can't do that. You you can't go you know six three and outs in this league. You can't do it because they'll eat the clock up. Which throw can Logan basically not make that you, you feel like Chubb needs to be in there to throw? Which one was that today? Well, you're right about that, Sam. He, um, he made some good throws today, you know, and you just got to be more consistent in practice for what we see. But he he played he you know he stood up today. He stood up today. Well, he's not. He's not seeing the coverage. He's not seeing, you know, the, the progression that he needs. That he needs to get to the, the way he needs to get the ball to. We have kids running open, and he's got to. He's got to find him. He's got to find him. He's got to hit him. Did it get close uh, with Casey at all today? Or beforehand? Well, I thought he had a better uh, feeling. He had more feeling in his hand today, but I just didn't feel comfortable playing him. You know, he's been. Um, he's been hit a lot this year. What was it about their backup quarterback that gave your defense more trouble than their starter? Well, they they threw it more with him than we thought they would throw with him, and we knew he would pull the ball. Well, he he's probably he's probably a better athlete than two, so they felt comfortable. And that kid had snaps. That kid played against Minnesota. I think he played the second half of Illinois. So he was it was a backup, but it was a backup that had game reps. Well, we, I'm going to go back and look at it, but I thought they did a better job up front of um, in their gaps, and I thought we you, we had to do a better job of moving them out of the gaps. What did you do on offense in the, in the second half? I mean, you held them to 31 yards in that first half on defense. And besides Mo just getting going, what, what were they doing? Well, it was, just, it was a two-score game. They stayed with their game plan. I mean, when you play a team like that, you got to really get a three-score three scores up on them before they can change their game plans. They're two score, they're comfortable, they're going to continue to do it. Just like the old wish, like we said, it was a wishbone offense. So they was going to stick with their game plan as long as it was a two score game because it was in reach. Mickey, when you get into a spot where you're going back and forth between two quarterbacks, can you describe how the process works on the sidelines between you and Coach Whipple and, and how those decisions are made? Well, I thought Whoop and I was on the same page because when we thought the kid was struggling, wasn't seeing it, we went, we went to Logan. So we, we communicate, and um, I'll let Mick Whip makes the call. But if I think it's a call that he should make, then I'll let him know. But we we was we were on the same page today when it came to the quarterbacks. Only 31 yards for Minnesota in the first half. They played lights out. I thought the defense played lights out throughout the whole game. They, they gave us a chance to win. Was there, um, there are two long passes were actually against the win. It looked like one on parts of Mick. He thought the ball was going to sail and maybe come to a did, did the defensive backs misjudge it based on the win? Those couple of throws? Well, we thought I thought he was going for the pick. You know, it was a taller kid, so you teach the shorter corners to play the hands. So I thought he was going for the pick, and the ball hung up there. And as the ball hung up there, the guy out jumped him. But he, he was going for the pick, and like you said, I thought he thought it was going to be overthrown. Yeah, he said the same thing that he should have ran it, and he was, he'd have at least got two or three yards. But he said the same thing. We thought he should have ran the ball. Use your feet right there. And then the fourth down play, yeah, but arguably the best player again. Yes, he's got to grab that. He's got to squeeze in. is a is a bang bang play. He's going to be a catch and a hit at the same time. He's been in those situations before. We expect him to catch those balls. Is this all part of learning how to win? 
Yeah, it's part it's part of learning how to win, and it's part of you know executing. You got you got to execute in this league. And you saw the first half with the defense. The defense executed. The offense executed. When you execute in this league, you're going to have success. If you don't execute in this league, then things like this is going to happen. I got to do a better job to get them to execute. What's your level of concern now at three and six? And you probably couldn't have a tougher assignment with where you're going next week. Well, we talked to the boys about that. You know, we're going we're going to stick together. We're going to we're going to block out the noise. And we're going to come back tomorrow. We're going to look at the film. We're going to fix the, the things we need to fix. And then we're going to move on to Michigan. One or two more for Coach. Vicky, you said earlier in the week that Chubb plays a little bit nervous sometimes. Did you see that today? Yes, and towards when he, start, when he started not seeing it, thought he got a little antsy in the pocket. Coach, what was the strategy with mixing in AG and Premier coming in for a couple of plays? What, what, what did they offer? Well, AG got a little winded. And then we wanted to try to get Ramirez in there, so we said we can pop one and get some speed in there on the draw plays. So when AG got winded, we just thought we should go to Ramirez right there. Anything else? Okay. Thank, you. Thank you, guys.